Right guys, another bit of a yard vlog today and a bit of grass cutting, it'll all be mixed in yard vlog 9 or 10 I think, something like that. So there'll be a few clips of grass cutting in Straff today. Um, weird week last week, it's only a four day week because of the bank holiday. Um, just busy around here. Done some more on this car. Look out for some videos now on the Triumph if you're interested in that kind of stuff, painting. Or body work, car body work. So I just ordered the last bit of priming I need. So I'll do a full video of two coat priming out the gun and priming it white. And then we'll be uh, spraying it then. So I'll do like a video on each each part of that, spraying it, uh, flat and polishing it, like the odd thing now and then, building it up. And obviously the finish is out then. But we are getting it now. So it's got a sand on the front. Pretty much there. Just waiting for the primer to come. The white primer, the 2K. Let me show you some of the consumables. I had to go through just to do body work. The amount of it is ridiculous. All the old discs in there. Wet, wet and dries. Scotches on the bottom, paint cups, strainers, pack bags, gun cleaning, stuff in there. I usually go a lot more thinners and all that down here. That's just panel wipe. Over here, and I usually got more fillers in there. That's why I keep my fillers and the board. Down here, got some primers. I'll get more stuff. Oh, I set all my papers up by here. I'd use like two rolls, uh, paper, and like a rag, fine rag. My car sheet in, 18 inch masking paper, 36 inch paper. I have an inch on there and two inch on there. Anyway, so look out for videos on that. People interested on bodywork, you see some good uh, videos now of me painting it. Out here, I've added the backfield. I've done that like two weeks ago. The stripes are still there. The zeta stripes still quite strong up there. Um, I have to do this side field. It's not about three acres of hay this year. We used to do about ten. There's only for our own animals now, for the for the horses. But the trouble was, when I was feeding the ledge to them, I'd have a lot of ledge left on the floor, so I had to move that. So a big temp of it over there, but I dragged it in around trying to spread it about a bit. But I got the odd temp I gotta pick up. See it behind? So, my do today. It's awfully slow uh, growing in here. It should be fertilised, but we haven't fertilised it for years. Yeah, so, I wasn't gonna do that many videos on painting, but I will. I've changed my mind. There's a few people interested on my channel. So, I'll show it. It helps people out. So one thing on a two-part primate, I'll mask it up tidy because that's just to stop the dust going in there. Um, I'll show you a bit of how I mask it as well then for priming. And we we'll prime it. Obviously I wet it out in here and I'm going to paint it then. But I paint with the doors open anyway so I could paint the outside. Nice day. I paint stuff outside and get a hell of a finish. Beautiful finish like. As long as it's been either raining uh, previous day before day or two before when no dust about not much wind about you could paint out there in the Sun and get beautiful finishes yeah so once this is painted I'll be flat out from then on just doing mowers restorations and stuff like that my own stuff finishing off what I got and looking for more restoration might do cylinder mowers all different mowers but it'll be all equipment like that then I'll have in you and I'll be painting uh, so there'll be a lot of interesting stuff. This year I didn't manage to finish my Wessex. But, uh, well, the last few months. But I'll carry on now after the season. And I'll get out of here then and finish it off. So that'll be interesting. Look out for them. Yeah, I've done nothing on this. To be honest, I'll just be uh, a while yet. So we've been busy around here. I've done that edge last week. How to cut the edge level. 
to my solo video. I've done a bit of a second cut on this by you. I've got to clean that up by there today. That's just from all the stimming on by there. That's what I tamped down by you. I know it's 100%, but for a quick finish, like I said, just tamp it down. That's ideal. The mold goes over there, alright? The grass will grow back up into it. You'll be surprised now, by the end of the season, I doubt there'll be any patches. They'll be all be smooth for you. And now they. I get this looking nice, yeah? Let me move back a bit. I didn't bag it, but the next time I cut it, I'll bag it so it's clean and I crisscross the cuts. So I'm not all the same way. But that's that edge. Looks better, doesn't it? It's, uh, it looks quite neat around, yeah? When it's uh, been cut in the trees. Leaf up. I just got to wake up one day now on the front where I strimmed. The milkman drop milk. Aye. There's our milk. So I've strimmed down here. I just got to wake it up a bit, clean it up. That looks good, doesn't it? That edge. we will cut this front low now. That's the next bit. I'll do that today. I'm not sure with the arm video, but that's before. So I've been busy. It was a cracking day today again, looks like. It's some good weather, pretty do's. Yeah, so what I'll do now, I think I want to cut up here for the David Brown and the Wessex. I have been round a few times. They grow so fast up there. It's ridiculous. But um yeah, see ya. So I'll set it up on the camera and give it a once over now, obviously it can't come through, yeah? I cut the front there. Yeah? Yeah, we give this another cut and I'll get a little later then, a 21 inch, and do down there. So I've got a few cuts this side now, around you, but this side I haven't had any yet. I still don't go around to it. So I've got to get over this side. We can see where I had it. The stripes are still there. I was going to roll it, but um, I don't want to bother. You know, so I've got to fix the roller anyway, and I'm going to do it up. That'll be another video. I will do that um, soon. After I finish this car, I'll get on this. I got the steel to do it, and I make a new frame to go around it, modernise it. You um, could roll it then, it's nice and heavy. So that's one for the future. I'm gonna do that up. So there we are, just leaving that grow now. Once it grows, we'll knock our down end with the mower, turn it, and do small builds of ABR. Like I said, not doing much. Even if it's only an acre there, if I pull two acres out of that field there, that'll be enough for this year. Just for having enough A for ourselves. For the horses. We have got some there as well. But uh, I like doing A, so as long as I'm doing some ink. We've always done it every year, all my life like. Right, so let's get on the tractor.
so that was just a quick going round with the tractor and the mower. A little bit faster, I suppose, could have gone down the gear just to get it knocked down. But yeah, round there, I'll finish off then close to them. I stay away from them, fade gap like that's the one who was it one and then a bit delay so finish that off by hand string on the bottom well, that's a lot faster than the bigger areas that's what I like about it I have got a belt come in for my ransom I couldn't get it from America after but I got the number if I do to the guy he gave me the number for it so I found that now on eBay so it'll be nice to get that going again so I'll get the I'm gonna get the toro out. Side discharge toro. I'm gonna do a bit of cutting now. No, I'll, I'll trim on the, these first and then we'll do the toro on it. But well, that mower's going well, if it was. I don't like jinxing and stuff, but it's a pretty good finish. So I'll that. I'll carry on painting it then rest of the destination. After the season, I know it's a bit of a leak there, it's getting wet. I don't like that. Have I got a seal going or something on the power steering pump? I'll keep an eye on that. I'll start this Toro up behind us now. It's my main uh, mower around the farm. The Toro, um, commercial, full line. But I modified it and put a Honda Dizzy engine on it and 21 inch Honda Dizzy blade, got a brand new blade on it. We haven't started since last, since last season, but we'll fire them up now. Um, I'm going to go to Soltex this year, the NEC in Birmingham. So I saw a few videos on it last year and it looks interesting. So and maybe I'll bump into some people up there then. So the people I'm watching on uh, YouTube now like. So I'll do a video when I'm there as well. Let's put the rear sheet on. So I'll shoot. Carriers to me in the van, the other mower. Put it back on here, so it does, because I are. And I clip it on here then. That's all. That's why I take the doors off, so much easier. The flappy door by the It's topping up with a bit of fresh juice. It's still got a fair bit in it from last season. I said I never bother. Cleaning them out. Should be enough. Well, I think it's full there. Oh, that's him, full. Put on the caravans. So it's the first start that we started this year. We'll tighten that up later on. Let's pull him over a bit. This mower is fast for those, it goes like a vape tape. So we will go pretty quick to catch up with it. Let's go and try them out. Bit awkward with our side discharge. 
which I don't really like doing between the caravans because it throws it onto one side or the other. Not so bad if they up like this, it throws it underneath. But um, so if you want the side discharge, we rear discharge like the eight there, we'll just leave it behind. So if you're doing them out the round the caravans, I make sure the shoots are away from the caravans. Well, we come down this way. That's enough to clean it, like I said, I can't do that. I just want to mention a point by ya. I see a lot of people slagging other people off on, on YouTube in the comments about pulling the mower backwards. They understand what they're saying about getting cut, cutting your feet, slipping underneath. But in a lot of positions like I'm doing around here, which I've done for years, 20 years if I cutting, you have to. How can you turn around and, and you have to go backwards? When you're working in small areas, you have to be careful obviously. But this, people are talking rubbish when you say you can't cut backwards. At certain times, positions, or situations, you have to. But just be careful on them situations. On a bank, no, don't pull it upwards. You stand above it because you could slip under. Can you cut the front of a caravan? Go in places by you. Look at this bar. Can't go all the way through there. You have to go in and come back. I talk about this, shy. A lot of them don't have no videos. Keyboard warriors. Don't worry about the clippings on the floor. They'll just all just like rot away. Same as mulch. That's all right. As long as it's not big, big piles of them. And if it is, just cover it again. It just throws it out. Finer. You'd be surprised it all just like blends away in, yeah? Pointless catching it for nothing. It is a bit thick by there. I could go over it again there. On one chamber there. Anyway. That's enough mowing on here for a minute. Um, we've got a shimmer now, and I've just got to run on the bottom of these, and that's one section done. I did go around some of that with the mower. I'll do some more up here tomorrow because it's getting a bit hot now. But um, it's a continuous job it is around these. You can imagine when we had like this was full of caravans. There were 80 caravans at one time. You can imagine cutting on 80 caravans, mostly strimming and, and just tight with the mower between. A lot easier now because I can use a tractor um, because we're not taking no more caravans back. Once they're gone, they're gone. Like the space is empty then because we're finishing with them. Um, but it's easy now compared to what it used to be, believe me.
guys. It's looking a bit sharper, but yeah, I've got to finish off on there, do well off camera. That's just a quick example of what I'm doing today. Not better, like I said, the clippings just dissolve away. Whatever's left, they're quite fine. A bit like mulch like. On the back there, yeah, I've got a few clippings there. By the time I knock it over again, I'm going to smash about, turn on the car. Alright, so you can see as I keep on top of it, I'm going to do the other side. I'll do uh, maybe starting that one day in the week. That's a bit more technical because we've got to go on the back with the edge and everything. But i got to do it. It's no good I'm going around the caravans. People don't like that. That's all one owner there. Eh? Five caravans there. Eh? He sadly passed away a few months ago. But uh, the wife will be back soon and uh, she'll be doing something with them all day. Eh? So maybe all that area there eh? in the future, in the near future, will be cleared away. We're not taking no more caravans, so. In one sense, we better can get in there with a the tractor, cut all that tidy there, then, and look after the edge easier. Anyway, well, there we are, guys. That was a yard vlog, and a bit of cutting on the caravans as well, for different things. But that has got up to date a bit. On what I've been doing, definitely look out next few weeks. I'll be doing paint work on that Triumph. All right. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Cheers.